open up Microsoft Excel and GB39 prioritization matrices. In this spreadsheet you will find the prioritization matrix and also the PU matrix. We'll look at the simple prioritization matrix first. This is what's displayed on your screen. Across the top we list our criteria that we will be evaluating. Our solutions are listed over here. So let's say we have solutions A, B, C, D, and E. Our weighting addresses the root cause. Well, let's give that a weighting of 25. And impacting the CTQ, let's change that one down to 20. And you can see that we're keeping track of the sum here. This should total up to 100. So once we spread the weights across our criteria for evaluation, it should sum up to 100 points. Then in the body of the matrix, that's where we're going to score the relationships. So our scoring system is here on a scale of 1 to 5. A 5 strongly meets the criteria. A 1 weakly meets the criteria. So let's take solution A. And how did it fare against the root cause? Well, it only scored a 2, so it was semi-moderate. Well, what would happen if that actually scored a 5? So I can put in a 5, and then you'll see that the calculations take place automatically. So these are already programmed over here to go through and multiply the score here against the weight, and then they'll sum those up going across. And then the thing that we can do once we've done our scoring, and let's, let's change a couple of these. Let's say that we'll give that one a 5. We'll give this a 5. And now we've jumped this guy up to number 1. So E is now number 1. So now if we highlight from the numbers over here, from 345, and if we highlight these guys and go all the way across, what I can do now is I can go to Data and sort and I can sort them in descending order All right, and I'm using column I descending and say OK and now they've sorted so now my solution E is the number one followed by AC B and D. So that's how you can use the simple prioritization matrix. You put your criteria together, you give it a weighted score, list all of your potential solutions or the things you're going to be prioritizing, and then go through and evaluate them against the criteria, and then the scoring will take place. Now the Pew matrix, we'll click on this one, the Pew matrix is a little bit different. In the Pew matrix, we would take one of our potential solutions and those are listed in the columns going across. Our criteria is listed in this column on the left hand side and we have our criteria over here. This weighting once again adds up to a score of 100. So let's say address the root cause. Let's say we gave that a 25 and impacts the CTQ. Um, let's say ease of implementation will give that a 20. Alright, so now we're back to a score of 100. And what we do is we take one of the potential solutions here, and in this case D, was selected to become the base case. So it was set at zero. And then we compare the other solutions against D, the base case, and their ability to meet the criteria. And if it's better than D, it gets a positive one. If it's worse than D, it gets a negative one. If it's the same, it would get a zero. So let's just say that C wasn't worse than, let's say C was actually the same. So we gave it a zero. Alright. And our scoring down here will have some of the sames. In this case we're going to have to, we have two. We're going to have to update that. Two. Alright, so we had two sames. We had only one negative here. And then we had one, two, three positives. So we have a weighted sum of the sames, or some of the negatives, and a weighted sum of the positives, and those are listed in here, and these will calculate, and we multiply them against the importance rating. 
And what this does is allows us to take one of our solutions and see if we can actually morph our solutions into something better. So in this case, it looks like uh, solution B is one of our better solutions. Now, it was the same for cost of benefits, cost and benefits, as solution D. So there's nothing we can gain from, from D to help improve B. And in all other cases, it was better than D. And solutions A does have some strong points other than it's more negative on costs and benefits than B. And let's see if there's anything we can, get, we can grab out of C that would help improve B, and there really isn't anything. So that's the Pew matrix, and we'd use that to morph our solutions into something better. So that's a prioritization matrix as well, and we also have our simple prioritization matrix. So that is the two prioritization matrices that are in GB39, prioritizationmatrices.xls. This is also available in a openoffice.org calc file as well.